Next, we have value lookup. Now, this is one I find that most people really like doing because it actually gives them a chance to start making noticeable changes to the database and they can see the options that they type in. Here I am in my database. I'm going to go to customer type table. And here we can see we have private and NHS customers, right? Now, the benefit of doing a value lookup is that people don't get to type in an option. Because if I said to someone, you should only type in NHS or private, and I don't do the value lookup or some other form of validation, what they can do is type Bob. That would work perfectly fine. They can type chicken. That would work perfectly fine as well. This is what we do not want. We want to limit the things that they can enter so that they don't enter anything silly. So how do we do that? I'm gonna go to design view, ticket type, sorry, customer type is the thing I want. Now we're gonna change this short text data type, click on the arrow next to it, go down to where it says lookup wizard. This thing is gonna pop up. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do table lookup later on, but for now, let's stick to lookup wizard. So for lookup wizard, I want to type in the values that I want. Click next. And here in the where it says column one and you have an asterisk or a star next to it, this is where we're going to type our options. I think I said NHS. Let's do private. I don't know. Let's, let's do one called insurance as well. So someone might travel from overseas and they might have health insurance from somewhere else. Slightly different, right? I'm going to click next. Now, labeling it, customer type, uh, drop down, that might be a nice name to have. And again, I've done it in a way that I can easily identify, always name things in a way that you, you can easily identify what it is. So be as descriptive as you can in the name. And for this one, you definitely want to limit to list. What this says, even though there's a drop down menu, in some cases, people can still type answers. We do not want them to type anything in because again, even though there's a drop down, if someone realizes that they can type something, they might type something silly like Bob or chicken again. So limit to list, click finish, and that's it, you're done. To actually see what's happened, you won't see it here. This will still say short text. You're gonna have to go over to um, where it says look up here at the bottom. So we have general on the left, look up on the right, and it will tell you this is a combo box. It's a value list. And these are the values that we can choose from. Now to test it, I'm going to go back to my normal data sheet view. And from the list, when, when I click in that box now, as you can see, there's an arrow next to it. So when I click on the arrow, as you can see, I can only select NHS, private or insurance. And if I click in this box and I try to type anything, it doesn't allow me to continue.